two weeks since the last mow. <laughs> Edges are looking a little worse for wear. The last day I started getting seed head, so there's some stress there. Yeah, is anyone ready to fix this? Goedemiddag mensen. Rain's about to come again. Had to get this mow in. Otherwise it's just going to keep on overgrowing and it's bad at the moment. But check this out. I cleared up the majority of the uh, the leaf litter. All the grass clippings that I've been piling here for yonks and yonks and yonks. About a year. And I started putting them all in the back there. And I just noticed now that those guys thinned out in the shade like that. Are starting to decompose faster. But I think it's got something to do with all this rain. And then, have a look at this, I've just discovered this. That, that don't look too bad. And of course, Kokuyu is what's growing in it. Check that out. That's not so bad. Look at that. Hmm, okay, so I guess it's moisture. That's the real thing, moisture. So if you live in an arid region, uh, you know, do your composting under trees. And in the summer, by the looks of it, that's not so bad. All right, so let's just clean up that edge over there, all the leaflets are lying around. Oh, this grass is looking bad. And then we'll get Frankenstein out. I think I'll give it a double mow. We'll see now. I don't know how much time I've got with the rain coming in. I want to show you this. Check that out. Can you see that? That little patch of oxalis that I showed you guys two weeks ago. Technically I've been growing it since around December. Look at that. Look at that. It is probably, that's like two to three meters wide. And I think the width of from there to there is 14 meters. <laughs> That's about 14 meters, perhaps a little bit longer because it's coming up to my feet here. So 14 to 16 meters, two to three meters wide, oxalis, two to three months, and that's what it does. Fun times. So stay tuned. Next couple of videos are definitely going to be about weeds. Okay, so I've done a couple of passes. The rain is just about here. It's gonna come down any minute. What I wanna do is, you can see that I've cut this little section back out again. So it's making kind of like a, an eye shape. I think there used to be a tree there. I've been filling it up, but I bet you guys have watched me do it in a couple of previous videos. I've still got some leftover top dressing in that bag there, probably about 15 kilos worth. I'm gonna chuck it in that hole now. And I think what I'm gonna try and do because I noticed that the Bermuda is in fact, now during the summer at least, growing into or underneath this LM that's over here. So I'm thinking about mowing out the LM and trying to get the Bermuda in there. So let's just fill that up quick. When it settles, we can smooth it in properly. All right, and that's what it looks like from the other side. You can tell it's a bit discolored because it's starting to get sculpted, but uh, it's only still set to 15 mil in Frankenstein at least. I think that I'm starting to get to a true 15 
but uh, not quite there yet. I think what we'll do is tomorrow, I'll come back out and just mow this as many times as what my body feels that it can. Then we'll give it that three days and then herbicide the hell out of it. And here's something else of interest. You can tell that the grass is still quite tight, even though I've given it a bit of a hard time right now. It's tight. She's been mowed a bit taller than what I usually do, but because I've kept it so short for so long, it's holding up all right. This grass, on the other hand, used to always look nice because I always used to mow it a bit taller. And look at that. The grass blades are fatter and thicker and wider. And, oh, sorry, bumping into things. You can tell it gives you this chunky effect. So I'm going to sculpt this guy out now as well. Try and give it a bit of a reset. As you can tell, it doesn't help you to leave your grass too tall. Right, look at how much more scalp there is and I can still do a lot more. I'm floating big time on this lawn. There's a massive amount of thatch and uh, sponginess on that lawn. So I reckon there's still probably another 20 or 25 mils under that. Remember, that's set to 15 mil. And even though Frankenstein's heavy and I put on the heavy front roller as well, it's still not possible to really push down hard. This is why I prefer keeping my lawn short because it just makes this kind of thing a lot easier. This being mowed with the rotary, that's left me with a bit of a problem now. But uh, you know what? Everything's, everything's fixable. We'll catch up on the rest tomorrow. I'm tired, Frankenstein's tired, and the rain is here. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. That's about 10 mils after 10 minutes of rain. Alright, so I need to end the video at some point, so I'm going to start getting a bit of a break in this rain. The next step should be to put down a herbicide. You mow the lawn. Now, what it's supposed to do is give it two or three days before you put down the herbicide so that those weeds can stick their heads up or at least the most of the surface of the weeds leaf can sit its head out and above the canopy of the grass. That should be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And luckily this coming week, according to the forecast, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are dry days. So to me that means perhaps on a Wednesday, I'm going to put down a herbicide. Because if you put it down on Thursday, it might not be able to sit on the leaf for long enough before it starts raining again on Friday. Hope that makes sense. Then by Saturday, we can mow again. Anyway, this is getting very loud. It's getting very loud and it's zip up that thing here. So, um, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, share this with your homies, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.